G'day guys, Oliver here from Pacific Toyota. Just giving you the virtual tour of our 2020 Toyota Corolla sedan. Now, first off, I'd just like to give you a bit of a run through our showroom here at uh, 77 Mulgrave Road. This is one of two of our yards, uh, the other being located at 235 Mulgrave Road. As you can see here at 77 Mulgrave Road, we have a very large variety of stock uh, all the way through to your, um, your four wheel drives and all the way through to your sedans and, uh, and hatchbacks as well. Now I'd just like to get back to the virtual tour on the vehicle. Now this is a detailed run through the car just to show the ins and outs and the overall condition of the vehicle. If there is anything that does catch your attention, please don't hesitate to let me know and I'll do my best to rectify the issue. As you can see, all along the, uh, on the bottom here is all in excellent condition. Uh, there's no, no stone chips or anything like that in the paint. And I'll just run through to the front of the vehicle here. As you can see, all in really great condition along the uh, along the front here. There's no, no stone chips or any um, any marks or anything like that. Do just have a couple a couple little uh, it's just had a little bit of a brush touch just there, but a couple little a couple little stone chips just on the front there, uh, but nothing really too major. Uh, as you can see here, you do just have your front passenger side tire. As you can see, still has uh, still has plenty of tread left on it and still in excellent condition. We'll just run through to your passenger side. Just got your uh, your front passenger side door here, all in really great condition. As you can see, uh, no scratches or anything like that along the uh, along the paint, which is really good to see. I'll just run you through a little bit of the interior of the car. As you can see, you just got your uh, front passenger seat just here, and you know once again it's all in uh, all in excellent condition. You do have your uh, Corolla floor mats just there. And as you can see, floor mats are doing an excellent job as well. And you just got the inside of your door here as well. You do have your speaker just there. You have got your uh, uh, drink holder just there, electric window winder, and just your door handle as well. Just keep running through to your back passenger uh, doors. As you can see, all along the back passenger doors are all in great condition. Once again, there is just a tiny little mark just there, just on the uh, on the bottom of the door handle there, but nothing uh, nothing too major. And as you can see, all your back passenger seats are all in uh, all in excellent condition. Once again, do have your uh, your little uh, anchor points for um, child seats as well. And as you can see, all your floors are all in excellent condition as well. Just have your uh, have your floor mats just there, and. Uh, Obviously, floor mats are doing an excellent job, seeing as the floor is all in, all in great condition. All right, just a couple little marks on the interior there, but nothing really too major. You just got your speaker there, just got your uh, electric window winder and your door handle as well. And as you can see, all inside the uh, all inside the interior of the door is all in excellent condition. So, as you can see, you do have your uh, your back uh, passenger side tire. And once again, still plenty of tread left on them. There's still plenty of Ks left on them. Now we'll just keep running through to the uh, to the back of the vehicle. Now I do apologise. It has been uh, has been raining a little bit in Cairns, so there is just a little bit of a watermark there. Uh, you do just have your Corolla badge just there. As you can see, all along the uh, the top of the boot here is all in excellent condition. There's no marks or anything like that along the top. Just keep running through, just through to the back of the vehicle here. As you can see, all in really good condition, all the paint's in, all in excellent condition. You do just have your uh, reversing camera just there as well. Now, I will just open up the boot just so you can have a bit of a, uh, bit of a look inside. As you can see, lovely big, uh, lovely big boot space in the back here. And just underneath, if you just uh, lift this up here, you do have your uh, tools just on top. Do you have your spare tire and uh, your jack as well? So all uh, all tucked away, nice, nice and neat and tidy. So I'll just keep running through to the uh, back of the uh, the um, driver side of the vehicle now. As you can see, all on the um, all on the back of the driver side, it's all in all in excellent condition. Uh, still plenty of tread left on your on your back driver side tire, as you can see. Still plenty of Ks left on those. And you do just have your uh, back driver side door, as you can see, all in excellent condition. Once again, there's no marks or anything like that. All right, just a couple, just 
So I just get my camera to focus. Just a couple little marks here and there, but nothing, nothing really too major. All right, so we'll just keep running through the uh, back seats here. Once again, you can just see the uh, all the back seats are all in excellent condition as well. And uh, you just got your little um, anchor points for the for the child seats there. And your floor mat's obviously doing an excellent job. Um, keeping the floor all in excellent condition. And you just got your cup holders just there as well for your uh, for your back passengers. So I'll just keep running through to the uh, the driver's side now. As you can see, all the driver's side doors all in excellent condition. All right, just a couple little marks here and there, uh, just on the door handle there, but nothing, nothing really too major uh, along the rest of the vehicle. All in really, really good condition. And uh, lastly, you do just have your uh, your front uh, driver's side tire as well. As you can see, plenty of tread left on that, and still plenty of K's left on them. So I'll just jump inside the vehicle now. Just give you a bit of a run through run through the interior on the driver's side. So you can see all your uh, all your dash is all in excellent condition. No sun damage or anything like that on the vehicle. And as you can see, you do just have your. Uh... Sorry, I'll just get my camera to focus up there. As you can see. There's no warning lights or anything like that on the uh, on the dash, which is really good to see. You do have your odometer reading just there. All in really good, really good condition. No warning lights or anything like that. Now, as you can see, you do just have your uh, little little direction buttons there, uh, so that will just change through the settings just on your uh, on your dash there, through to your audio um, and everything like that as well. Now you do have uh, Bluetooth on this vehicle as well, so you just got your answering um, phone calls there. Just have your volume buttons and your uh, voice recognition as well. And just to your right on your steering wheel, you do have your, uh, your forward crash mitigator and uh, just your lane departure warning as well. And as you can see, you do have your mode button here, which can change through right through to your uh, through different audios like your uh, AM, FM radio, um, you know, your Bluetooth audio, and everything like that. Now, this vehicle does have Apple CarPlay as well. Uh, so if you just hook up your phone to the USB point uh, just underneath, just there, uh, you will be able to, uh, to use your phone uh, with Apple CarPlay. All in really good condition along the, uh, along the inside of the vehicle as well. You just got your touchscreen display just here. Sorry, I'll just turn the air conditioning down. Got all your touchscreen display just here as well, so you can just go through your audio, through to your source, and you can um, go through your FM, AM radio, uh, Bluetooth as well, just there. But all in really good condition along the interior, as you can see, and you do just have a little 12 volt power outlet just there as well. Now, I'll just run through a little bit of the service history. Now, there is, seeing as there is uh, only 30,000 kilometers on the clock, it is going to be very minimal. Uh, so, I'll just show you. Just got your uh, 12 month or 15,000 kilometer service done there on the, on the uh, 10th of the 2nd, 2021 uh, with uh, 14,899 kilometers. And just your 24 month or 30,000 kilometer service done there on the 25th of the 6th, 2021 at uh, 28,788 kilometers. And just like I showed before, you do have uh, 30,918 kilometers on there. And your, uh, your next service isn't due Sorry, I'll just get my camera to focus uh, until 44,000 kilometers uh, or on the 25th of the 6th, 2022. So which, um, whichever occurs first. Now, I will just uh, just run through a little bit of the um, engine bay. So I've just, pop, just popped the bonnet here. As you can see, all inside the engine bay here is all in really good condition, all really clean, really neat and tidy. You know, unusual ticks and noises coming from the engine, which is really good to hear. Alright, that is your virtual tour of your 2020 Toyota Corolla sedan. Thank you.